What's up y'all, it is Rory J and I am back again with another video and this time I am unboxing my new vinyl from Discogs. So let's go right ahead and get into it. This video is not going to be long. If you, if you know, you know. Okay, we don't take long over here, we just get straight to the point. So, I don't know which one this is because I have a few of them that I'm waiting for. So I don't, I have no idea which one this is. But we're about to see, we're going to see, we're going to see. Get it open first. Okay, there we go. that tape <laughs> they don't play at all all right let's see what we got I don't know which one this is y'all oh hold on oh okay I didn't think it was gonna come this soon. So this is Joe, actually. All That I Am, his, I think this is his second album. Yeah, I think this is his second. Um, and I'm so happy I got this album. I wanted it so bad, because I love it. I know my mom gonna be happy to see it. But this is it. Joe, All That I Am. I was nervous, because I couldn't find it nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, these vinyls are really hard to find. So, I saw no Discogs, but they had a lot of them that was very expensive. So I saw this one and I was really shook. I was like, let me, it was $20, y'all. So I was like, let me hurry up and get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, this is a little bit dirty, but I hardly see any scratches, so that's a good thing. That's disc two. All right. This is a, this one. Okay, I see a few scratches on this one. Not as many, but a little bit. So. That's that, but you know, I, I always thoroughly uh, clean it. And I learned that little tip too. If your records are um, like looping, I wouldn't necessarily say skip, but if it's like looping, right? Like, you know, it's a certain part that keeps playing over and over and over. Um, they say you could get like a, a toothpick or something pointy and just put a little bit of pressure, not too much, a little bit of pressure on the part where it scratched at, and it would take it out. Or I've seen some people actually put it on the, the turntable and the part where it skipped at, they just put a little bit of pressure on the needle and it'll fix it. I did it, I, I don't. I know it's not the safest thing to do with records, you know what I'm saying? It could kind of like scratch it, but for me it worked. I just put a little bit of pressure on the needle and it start working and I haven't had no problems. <laughs> I like put a little bit of pressure on the needle and um, it went straight through, like my brandy vinyl, the Never Say Never. I didn't have the A and B, I only had the D and C. So I brought the A and B from another seller on there, which was, was cheap. Um, that one was severely looping. Like every song on the A side was looping. And um, I put a little pressure on the needle wherever it was looping at, or you know, skipping, looping. And um, it took the, it took it away. So my Brandy Never Say Never albums, they play straight through, no issues, no nothing. So that's a little tip for you guys, but just be really careful when you do it though. So this is Joe and I'm so happy to have it. I love, I truly love 
this album. My mama played this album so much. So, this is Joe, All That I Am. That's the front. This is the back, which has the, has the thank you notes. It has the songs and the credits, track listing, all that good stuff. So it's in pretty good shape. The sleeve is a little bit kind of messed up, but for the most part, it's, it's perfect, it's good. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and follow my social media on but down in the description box, I'm sorry. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.